The offseason's biggest moves and loudest splashes are behind us, but the biggest story stemming from that offseason has yet to play out. And when it does, it might be in a courtroom. I'm talking, of course, about Nerlens Noel's lawsuit against Clutch Sports and super agent Rich Paul. So what went wrong between the two parties? What exactly is Noel suing Paul for? And what might come of the lawsuit in the future? We're gonna break it all down. So here come our audience's seven favorite words. Sit back, relax, and take this in. Before we get to the legal drama involving Noel and Paul, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and tell your friends to do the same as we continue on our march towards 100,000 subscribers. In legal terms, Noel is suing Paul and Clutch for alleged breach of the standard player agent contract, breach of fiduciary duty, breach of good faith and fair dealings, and gross negligence. Here's how it breaks down in plain English. Why don't you explain this to me like I'm five? Noel claims that while he was still represented by agent Happy Walters back in 2017, Paul pitched him on his own representation at Ben Simmons' birthday party. It was there that Noel alleges Paul told him the young big was a $100 million player and that he could get him a max contract. Noel, who up to that point had played less than 200 NBA games over four years and averaged 10 points, 7.5 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 1.6 steals and 1.5 blocks, says in the lawsuit he declined a four-year, $70 million extension offer from Dallas as a restricted free agent in 2017. Reportedly at the insistence of Paul, Noel opted for a one-year qualifying offer worth less than $4.2 million, which put him on track for unrestricted free agency in 2018. But a thumb injury limited the big man to just 30 games during the 2017-18 campaign at which point Noel claims Paul and Clutch were no longer as committed to representing him faithfully. According to Noel, in the lead up to 2018 free agency, no one from Clutch presented him with proposals or strategies on how he might go about securing a long-term deal, with no offers being presented to him at the onset of free agency. After recruitment from Russell Westbrook and Paul George, Noel ended up signing a two-year minimum deal with the Thunder, worth less than $4 million total, that contained a second year player option. Once again, allegedly on the advice of Paul, Noel opted for free agency in 2019 after one year with OKC. And according to Noel, Paul and Clutch once again failed to put forth enough of an effort to secure a new contract or endorsement deals. It's worth noting though, that while Noel did appear in 77 games for Oklahoma City in his first year as a Thunder, and was a key defensive contributor on a 49 win Thunder team that made the playoffs, he also averaged less than 14 minutes per game. Though there were reports from Woj that Noel was set to sign a long-term deal with OKC, reports Noel claims either Paul, Clutch, or the Thunder circulated to scare off rival teams from chasing the free agent, no such offer came in, and Noel once again settled for a one-year deal at the minimum. Noel said he considered ending his partnership with Clutch in January of 2020, after hearing from former Sixers coach Brett Brown that Philly reached out to Paul about a potential Noel return and never heard back. And after hearing that Paul didn't return calls from other teams interested in the free agent. However, Noel then claims he was told by Clutch agent Lucas Newton that he and the Thunder were discussing a potential three-year deal worth between seven to $10 million per year, which satisfied the big man enough to stick with the agency except no such offer from the Thunder ever came. Noel claims he later learned the Rockets and Clippers expressed interest, but never heard back from Paul. And Noel eventually settled for a one year, $5 million contract from the Knicks. How does this keep happening? Shortly after joining the Knicks, Noel left Clutch and signed with George Langberg of GSL Sports. Paul and Clutch later reportedly filed a grievance with the Players Association seeking their 2% or $200,000 commission fee from the $5 million Knicks contract Noel signed in 2020. Perhaps then, Noel's lawsuit is simply retaliatory after Clutch sought commission for a contract Noel's suit alleges Paul played virtually no part in securing for him. Over the four year period that would have been covered by Dallas's original rumored $70 million offer, Noel earned a total of roughly $12 million on four different contracts, which translates to $58 million in lost wages. So how will this all shake out? Noel also claims to have information that Paul's focus on his marquee clients leaves Paul and Clutch without the capacity to competently serve its lower level clients. But can he provide tangible evidence it was Paul's mismanagement that cost him all that money over the years? 
and not simply the NBA market doing what it does? I mean, the game is the game. Sure, in his first foray into free agency since ditching Clutch, Noel did sign a three-year, $32 million deal to remain a Nick, the largest contract of his career. But how much of that has to do with better representation, and how much has to do with the fact Noel was coming off a season in which he logged more minutes and starts than he had in five years, and was the most valuable defensive player on a surprising Knicks playoff team that boasted a top four defense. Players sign contracts that they outperform and end up as team-friendly bargains all the time. Players overplay their hands, decline lucrative offers, and end up settling for much less later on all the time. Just ask Dennis Schroeder. Can players really sue agents for simply giving them bad advice in a market no one can ever predict with 100% accuracy? And if Noel's lawsuit is successful, then what kind of Pandora's box will this legal battle open for the future of player-agent relationships? So what do you think? Does Noel have a case against Paul and Clutch? Or was this just an example of an injury-prone player running into some bad luck after turning down a big extension as a youngster? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.